Ms. Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach SIG meeting. Today is Thursday, May the 2nd. Um, on the agenda I for I have for us uh, GSOC Contributor Spotlight Stories, Strengthening Community Efforts, and then, um, and that's it. Is there anything else that we should add? I don't know if that's the right uh, meeting for that, but I have received today an email from um, Adoption. They say they wanted to do um, online, what is it, online conference uh, next September, and they would like Jenkins to have a talk there about our use of Adoption's um, Terence OpenJDK. So, yeah, Jenkins may have a slot in the um, Adoption's online conference in September. Okay, cool. Can you add the link and information there, Bruno? Yes, I will do so. Give me a second. <laughs> okay, thank you. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Okay, so um, GSOC. So as you've seen, we've been accepted to five projects, ideas. So two is going to be under Chris, two under um, Alex Brandis, and one under Valentin. Um, I've already set up the uh, the blog post. Well, actually, thanks, Kevin, for your help with that. So it's been published as of yesterday. And then either Bruno or John Mark will probably need your help to change the image on the Jumbotron. Um, let me know if you need anything um, else. But Bruno, would you be able to help with that? I know John Mark just gotten back from vacation. You're in I never touched the uh, Jumbotron, but uh, I'd like to start uh, tinkering with it. So yeah, why not? Yeah. Okay. Just and just contact me if you need help. But I'm okay. You pro you're probably going to to solve that will with flying colors. <laughs> All right. Thank you both. Um, and then again, thanks to um, Chris and Bruno for reviewing the blog post that went out yesterday. Um, so we can already see that Chris has already set up. Uh, communication channels with his with their um, uh, GSOC contributors. So, and I think Valentin and Alex is trailing behind, but Bruno, we may need your help there. Just kind of nudge things along, make sure things happens, you know, um, as planned. Because I know this is their first time. Okay, of course. Thank you so much. Um, let's see what else ah so i am scheduling the our first bonding uh for the five gsoc contributors so would next tuesday work for everybody is that is that too far out do we need to do it sooner this is just, you know, with us org admins and the five contributors and whoever else that wants to join, whoever else has mentors, co-mentors that wants to join. So it's the 9th, April, May 9th? Um, next Tuesday, so. the 7th? Yeah, the 7th. Tuesday, yeah, okay, got you. Yeah. Okay, because the Thursday is a public holiday. Mm, okay, good to know. Okay. Does this sound okay for everybody? Our yep. org admin team? Yep. Okay. Cool, cool. And then um, thereafter, we I plan to just make things like life easy for us if it works out for our GSOC contributors. I'm hoping to um to do the weekly office hours at um on Thursdays at 3 p.m. UTC. Okay, yeah, sounds good. Okay. But uh, we need to confirm it first. Right, right, right. Okay. Is there anything else that we need to add to GSOC? Um... Yes, yeah, probably Chris is going to mention it. Uh, reactions from people that were not selected. Because uh, I got some emails asking, and I do reply. 
but I made the mistake of like I mentioned the rankings at first, so I I wouldn't do it again late like in uh in in after this time. But um, I don't think it's a good idea, so I wouldn't do it again. To do what, Chris? To include the rankings. So oh, yeah, like, no, that's... I didn't mention like because like I need to justify it. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's what I was trying to. Now, do. Yeah, and I've seen your replies, and and they were good. Uh, the 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 purpose of what we need to do is first uh, not discourage uh, the people and and encourage them on the other side to continue and to prepare yeah. by telling them where they could uh, improve. But I don't think that we need. Uh, justify or give them as you as you mentioned chris okay. by give them giving them too many details of the internal uh debate this is our sovereign uh decision yep. but we uh, can hint where they were weak and what they could improve or maybe i can just say like uh, maybe um approximate rankings just um give them range not 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 that like, not give them a number uh -huh. i would Indeed, but uh, having looked at, at the replies, they, they were they were good. The male replies that uh, okay. so so the, I I think they deserve an answer, and, and you feel that also in the way they they ask. Yeah, because like I think they they need like more justification for why they're not chosen. Uh -huh. I didn't give them their mic because I I don't think it's like that's that's really private. And confidential, but I think the rankings maybe they need to hear that. Mm -hmm. You can mention the ranking, but being too specific is it's it's not fair for the others, and then you start a, a discussion later. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, here. No mistake. Only things that we can improve to make. Uh, a smoother. I was just uh, astonished. This year we had many more people reach out to know why. Yeah. But last year we had about uh, three or four, and uh, I had uh, two on two or three online meetings of a quarter of an hour, and no more. Uh, here, if I look, there were about six or seven queries that I know of. Good sign, bad sign. Well, I think it's good. I and I also think that um, you know when so we did receive a lot of um, proposals this year and last year, and it's hard to compete when if a proposal is just really really good, and so yeah. you know and I think like for when people ask me, well, why didn't I get accepted? You know, sometimes, you know, you just have to say, well, there's other people that's that accept, pr proposed they something just, that was. They were just yeah, better. Much, and, much and, better. Yeah. Yeah. And, and one of the things maybe in the preparation phase we can emphasize, this is a competition because it's a high stake uh, program. Yeah. So. You earn a lot of visibility, experience, and so on. Chris, you wanted to add something. No, I just want to say yes. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. 100%. So we we could help them and 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 say, well, we don't judge you as a person. I I wrote it uh, this morning, or your skills. It's only as it is a competition, we take the best the best, and we can hint you how you can improve. Uh, to be more competitive uh, in there. But now on, on the other side, some of the proposals were weak and uh, some of the people had high expectations, even if their proposal was weak. And you also need to tell them the reality. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking like maybe if if like 
if a Google can allow it to happen, like we should have some example proposals to show a lot of people how to get selected. But I think that's that should only be done from Google side, though. Mm. It's it also depends a, a lot. Uh, well, I interrupted you. You you finished, Chris? Yep. Yeah, sorry. So I didn't lose my habit of talking, talking. <laughs> uh, I think it's very dependent on the program. So every uh, organization has its own rule and and uh, uh, traditions. Because so like I think example. F hmm? Go ahead. Yeah, because like I think I think my applications they were made open by the org that was mentoring me, but um, I don't mind it because like they allow me to submit privately first and then make it public after submitting. Hmm. So like that, that's something worth... to think yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah good point yeah i i think that's worth for us to think about i mean do we want to with 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 their permission publish what we think would be a good proposal an excellent proposal to use it as example yeah this year but maybe this discussion that we should have more in in the organ in a forum but uh, last year we were 100% open and everything was on the on on the street, and there we had a lot of cheating like yeah. behavior. Yeah. Uh, and and this year's method uh, protected it more, so we didn't have these these child cheating behaviors. But people could not really compare. Yeah. So, something to think about. Anyway. Yeah. Let's make this year successful. It will already work enough. I think it's like I think this year's arrangement is a little bit better because like we have more privacy for the applicants, so uh, they feel more. Um, they feel like it's it's fairer, and they have they they're like protected from. Um, being cheated on as well. Yeah. Because I was just kind of like a put off for some people. They're like, why, why, why do I have to share everything during mm -hmm. the Apple process? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I I use that method. We're here. Let's talk about that in a, a offline. Okay. Offline, because there, there's also a lot of tradition how it was done, and we could research. We we need to think on the method. I, there were some very very positive things uh, in the way it was handled this year, but uh, we we didn't reach hundred percent all targets. Okay. With the discussion, I'll update the notes after this call. Um, anything else on GSOC before we move on? Yes, I do have a have something to bring up. Uh, yeah. Because uh, did, did you guys see like what the conversation um happening like, that just happened um on a uh, Gitter between me and Jupiter? Oh yeah. Like, I have not. Because uh, yeah. I think it's kind of, kind of not right for her to ask, but I don't know how to reject her because I don't think she has the domain knowledge. But I, I think like she got confused a little bit because I did I did like invite her to be a mentor for the plugin health scoring project before, not for this project. That's why mm -hmm. I, I, think, I think she was kind of confused and I wasn't sure what to say to not be, to not be too offensive. Yeah. Yes, because she's not a mentor, she's not um, a contributor, but she'd like to participate in one of the projects. Isn't uh, right? But yeah. yeah, it's not uh, possible if you read the GSOC rules, if I'm not mistaken. So I think so, yeah. Yeah. The only thing she can, the only way she can participate is in reviewing the contributor's yeah. code. Yep. It's the only contribution allowed, which is already a lot. Like I, testing, I would, I would, I would, yeah, I don't know that she can do this, but not yeah. not the other tasks. Okay. Not producing code and not. Um, 
uh, Chris, uh, uh, do you want some help from Bruno or myself to, oh, yeah, to handle that with Jack Ruta? Oh, no, no worries. I can t I handle it. I just need to tell her. Well, she can, okay. cannot. Because I, right. I want to make sure like, I'm vulnerable with first. Because like, I, um, I do know like the contributor cannot collaborate with anyone else on the same project. It's not that, that I'm sure. But um, I also know she cannot uh, go from being an applicant for the project to a mentor to, of that project. So, but I, I wasn't sure about what she can do, but now I know, so I can tell her. Mm, okay. I, I think, uh, I also thought you, you had the good news uh, to do that. Just, you know, if, if you want to discuss it, just give a shout, I'm back. Okay. <laughs> I, I would like you and Bruno know if I need any help. Yeah, perfect. Right. Yeah. Okay, moving on. We're good, Chris. I'm yep. good. Okay. Um. So contributor spotlight stories. So we're still gathering stories, and um. I, running into a bit of a it's it's a little bit harder than previously to obtain stories at the moment but I will probably have to chase up people one by one um so Kevin's story is going to be coming up next and then after that I'm so I'm writing up mine so I will get that to Kevin soon and um Chris, we were, uh, I spoke with Mark earlier and he suggested doing a story on Van Deet. Yep. And, um, okay. So could you give Van Deet a heads up if you're still working with him? I am. Cause okay. like he's still, uh, uh, we're going to meet tomorrow. So I'll tell him first, like, uh, when we meet virtually. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. So I'll send him the form. So, um, he should have it in his inbox by the time he talks to you. Or maybe I can just slack him or maybe I can get to him. Doesn't matter okay. how it is tonight. So you can send it to him earlier. All okay. right. Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool. And then um uh and for Kevin, Jan, I think I mentioned it or I mentioned it to Mark, but Jan Ferichek, he's on vacation at the moment. So when he comes back, he'll get us his story and I hope he remembers. Um, but that's that. Anything you want to add to the stories, Kevin? Uh, uh -huh. I, I have, well, just very short. I yeah. think for, um, I, I need to check my, my data, um, uh, for, uh, Oktoberfest, uh, two years ago, I interviewed a couple of, uh, contributors and I think I interviewed Jan, so there is some some notes uh, I I can share. So I sent a, a, a set of questions, and he replied, and, and then it could be a good starting point. If I'm not mistaken, and I don't trust my memory, too many overload. Okay. Thanks, Jan. Just let us know. Do you want to add anything, Kevin? Uh, oh, um, no, uh, like you said, Alyssa, I'm, I'm up next. I'm working on mine now, so that's going. Uh, Mark's was just published a couple of weeks ago, which is really exciting. Uh, yeah, and you did mention uh, Jan's um, response uh, previously. So uh, yeah, no, th things are looking up. Um, yeah, and I know that there's a handful of people that were part of the top contributors uh, data that, um, yeah, maybe haven't responded or did say they weren't necessarily interested so uh, we'll figure it out we'll work with the rest of the community we'll we'll get it situated but yeah no everything's looking good there um so thank you okay cool thanks um so we are continuing our efforts to strengthening the um community so one of the things that we wanted to do was which i had discussed this with jean marc and bruno prior to our holidays was that um, one way, you know, how do we thank the people who's been making a difference to the project? And Bruno brought up this great idea that, so I'm showing you an example here on this page with the um, 
Adoptium at the end of the page, they have a, um, a thank you note for who contributed to either the project or the page. So I, uh, we were thinking we possibly could do the same for Jenkins. So um, for an example, if we go to Jenkins.io, I think this is like a low hanging fruit where, you know, Chris played a major role in creating this page for us. Um, so perhaps we can do the same thing on this page. Oh, I can do it. <laughs> 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 Are you oh, sure, Chris? Yeah. Are you gonna have time to sleep? <laughs> yeah, I can edit. It's it's quick. It's it's simple. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. Good. You're like a dream come true. Just yeah. a, the gift that keeps giving. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> yes, you are. Well, let us know if there's um anything that we can help or provide you. Because I did propose this idea before, but um, ah. I think oh, really? it was too early. Because <laughs> like, um, I think I got a feedback that it was like not needed at that time. Uh, uh, when was this? Too, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't talk with you guys. I, I don't remember because it was a long time ago. Okay, okay. but I, I was thinking uh, as Zomark now is producing quite a lot of um, data, you know, about the um, uh, top most contributors, the contributors that were the most uh, in the previous month and so on. Maybe that's something that could be helpful uh, to start with. You know, it may have a markdown file or a CSV file somewhere where you could find some data you would like to um, display in that page. Okay, okay. Just yeah. thinking out loud, you may have a better source of data, I don't know. Um, we could have a template even on GitHub. Okay. Uh, here, let's. Uh, uh, when is our next meeting? I got a question. Chris. though. Um, is it okay to yeah. ask? Because yeah. like, um, yeah, yeah. can we have Harsh to do a spotlight first? Because still working for us. Because he, he like we was resuming the um, um the GitHub project, the GitHub modernization project, this summer. Because we're trying to get it done. Even though Mark is busy, so um, but I'll take more lead this time. Uh huh. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna finish it. Okay. So I think I can too. Absolutely. The more help we can get. The yeah. So we can get we can get contribute spotlight on a uh, one on Vendit and one on Hosh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll send Harsh a note too. Um, and then I also put down here any other suggestions. So Chris, if you think of anything, just feel free to put them into this document. Okay. Um, any other pages, any other ideas, you know, what other things we could do? We, we'd love to, to hear it. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll come over plan first and I'll like, I'll draft a document and I'll share it and I'll just get feedback from you guys before we implement it. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, is there anything else that we want to discuss at this point? Not yeah, uh, the last subject I had, I was not able oh. to edit in the document because I don't have the right. So, you know, the adoption uh, online conference. But I put the um, information in the chat if ever we want to add it or we can keep it for next meeting. Yeah, if you can stick it, okay, I think you have it in the chat. Okay, I'll add it, Bruno, no worries. Thank you, Alfa. 